guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Katarina, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. This video is going to kind of be like my go-to makeup look. Also consider it as my full coverage foundation, flawless foundation routine. You could consider it like a makeup look that's going to be perfect for any occasion, any casual to semi formal occasion I think and yeah we're really focusing on the face today and just creating a very flawless radiant glowy looking skin really focusing on that bronzer that blush that highlight and then keeping it really simple on the eyes and then I'm also going to show you guys three different lip options that way kind of help show you how versatile this look is whether you put a pop of color on a nude lip or just like a fun flirty pink lip I wanted to also thank you guys so much for participating in my 5,000 subscriber giveaway if you haven't entered it actually still is open right now if you're watching this before May 1st so you can enter by clicking this link right here or I'll leave a link in the description box that you can go ahead and enter that in as well but if you guys have entered you know that one of the well out of the two rules one of the rules was to comment in the video a video request from you guys and I got so many amazing requests from you guys and as you know I'm uploading three times a week sometimes more as well I upload every Monday Wednesday Friday and some bonus days so it's kind of running out of videos to make for you guys and I want to do what you want to see I have a huge list of awesome recommendations from you guys so I have a bunch of fun videos planned this was kind of one of them and I kind of created it a couple different ones some requests to do like a look that is going to be appropriate for an interview I got an, a more natural looks to do like my everyday look so I kind of combined this this is my my go-to everyday makeup look that you can wear for so many different occasions. I really hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. First we're going to start off with foundation. You guys know I've been loving this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation recently and I do have a full review and demo on it if you guys want to check it out. Check more in depth how I feel about it, the pros and the cons, all that good stuff. So I like to just put it on the back of my hand and then kind of dot it all over my face. And lately I've been liking to do one half of my face first and that way I can really see the difference of what the foundation is doing. And then I just like to blend it in with a beauty blender. But like you guys can see on this side, my skin is evened out, my blemishes are pretty much covered. It's not the same exact color because I did self tan last night and I didn't do my face. So it's a little bit darker but it does match my neck. So foundation is on and now our skin is all evened out. Then I like to go in with a concealer and I want to do something that's going to conceal and brighten at the same time. So I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is one of my holy grail concealers. Definitely one of my top five favorites, if not my all time favorite. I put it under my eyes, top of my forehead, um, make my chin, and then also right under where I'm going to contour because it helps emphasize. I know this looks like a lot of products and a lot of steps, but you guys have to remember that I'm not doing any eye makeup, like eyeshadow, just mascara. So we really want to focus on the face and make it look flawless and just very radiant and glowy. I also like to blend it on my eyelids as well since we're not putting any eyeshadows on. This is going to help brighten up that area and make our eyes look lifted and more awake. Once the concealer is on, we want to set it. That way it doesn't move and doesn't crease. So I'm going into the Anastasia Contour Palette with the shade Banana and Vanilla. I'm going to use this on a deeper brush. Just popping the under our eye. It's also going to help brighten up the eye even more. And you want to get it on your eyelids as well since we did put concealer there. Out the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder in the shade 220. You guys know this is like my holy grail powder. I love this stuff. It adds a tiny bit more coverage as well. So next is one of my favorite parts and that would be bronzing and contouring. First to bronze up the skin, I'm actually going to use this blush. This is the Color of Me Beautiful Blush in Spring Glow. It's, I'm using it to bronze because it's a very nice kind of orangey bronze shade. And so I'm just going to lightly do that around the perimeters of my face to create some dimension and add some warmth. I 
You can see my face is already warmed up and then now we're going to increase our contour a little bit more that way we have more depth and dimension there. And this is what I feel like really makes the look because it just creates that sculpted face that I feel like is just so flawless that way you don't have to draw too much attention to your eyes. I like to do my lip and my nose. So first I take some extra product, put it right under my lip. Instantly makes your lip look a little bit plumper and poutier. Also right under my nose. And on the sides of my nose. Take a big kabuki brush and blend everything in. I love using a mauve blush. It just adds that really nice youthful warmth to your skin that also looks a little bit more on the sultry side but still natural. It's just a really beautiful color. Any tones kind of like this that has a mauve undertone. This is a City Color Be Matte Blush in the shade Blackberry. A little blush brush. And right above where we did the bronzer. For highlighter, since today I'm a little bit tanner than I usually am, I'm going to go in with more of a copper gold shade. So this is from the City Color Timeless palette. I also have a 10% discount code if you guys want to use that. It's just Katarina off of City Color Cosmetics site wide and I'll leave their link down below. So I'm just going to take a fan brush and pop that right at the top of my cheekbones. This is going to add that liveliness back into our skin, make our skin look very youthful, radiant, glowing, and that we're just awake and refreshed. Pretty much after this is just brows, mascara, and then a lipstick or lip gloss. For brows, if I'm not doing any crazy eyeshadow, I want to go a little bit lighter on my brows. I'm going to use this City Color Cosmetics Bold Brow. Some days I'll just wear mascaras, other days if I want to add a tiny bit more definition I'll use a liner and I'll tight line. So I'm going to tight line the top of my lash line which is just going to make our lashes appear thicker and like we're wearing eyeliner on the top but I have more hooded eyes so I don't want to take away any lid space. I want my eyes to look full, bright and awake so I'm just adding this at the top of my waterline. Curl your lashes that way they look fuller, longer and thicker as well apply your favorite mascara. My current favorite right now is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I have been loving this stuff, especially for those days that I don't want to wear any eyeshadow. This just creates your lashes, makes them look so long and full and thick that your eyes really pop even though you're not wearing any eyeshadow. This eye looks even more awake and larger and rounder and then this one looks a little sad. You can never go wrong with a mauve lip, a pink lip, a red lip, in my case a purple lip. So I'll just show you guys a couple different options because they're all going to go wonderful with this look and just kind of like jazz up the look to any occasion. I lightly line them with this e.l.f. Mineral Lip Liner in the shade Raisin. I'm going to just fill it in with this. This is one of the Jordana Balm Stains completely rubbed off because I've been using it to death. It is the most gorgeous kind of tea rosy nude. This is what it looks like with more of the nude lip option. I feel like this is also perfect for any occasion because it's kind of like that deeper nude and this balm also has a gloss on it so you can kind of dress this up, dress it down. It's still natural but it's not your typical nude. I really really like this lip option. Lip number two, this is one of my personal favorites and I'm including it because this is what I personally wear when I don't really know what I'm doing that day but I still want to add some pop of color to my face because everything else is pretty natural and toned down and kind of glowy and so I want that focus to be on my lips. So I'm going to do a purple lip. I'm going to line my lips with that same lip liner. For my lipstick, I'm going to use the Milani Color Statement Lipstick in the shade Violet Bolt. You guys know I love this shade so much. It's such a beautiful, vibrant kind of lightish purpley shade. For gloss, I'm going to use the Shaney Cosmetics in the shade 06 lip gloss. This is 
what the second lip option looks like. Again, this is more of like the fun, flirty, vibrant color that I feel like is really perfect for any occasion as well. If you like purple lips or if you have tried purple lips, I think you're really going to like this one. It's very wearable at the same time, but still bold. The third and final lip is going to be a kind of pinky lip. You could also do a red lip as well, but I feel like this is going to be really perfect for any occasion. This is the e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade T-Rose. I'm just going to fill my lips with this in first. Over top, I'm going to use this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Meringue. I talk about this gloss all the time. It is so beautiful and very bright and bubblegummy. And here you have the third lip option. Again, this is perfect for like just the everyday, very casual, still a slight color on the lips, but nothing overpowering, nothing too crazy, and honestly perfect for any occasion, whether it's just a school, a job interview, going out to lunch, going out with friends. Alright you guys, so that completes this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and some bonus videos as well. And I just feel like this look is so perfect for any occasion and I just love the fact that it's focusing around the skin because I don't know about you guys but I feel so confident when I have like a radiant bronze glowing skin and I just I feel like I don't need to wear too much makeup on my eyes or anything else because I feel like my skin is just shining through. I feel like anybody can achieve this look. It's very very easy. It's just adding those extra steps on the face and taking away those steps on the eyes. And thank you so much you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye! So in here you're going to be getting the shade Empress, Princess, Enchanted, Rain, Crown Jewel, and Tiara.